Hi, and welcome to Mount Calvary's Daily Devotion. Today I'd like to share scripture, prayer, and a song with you, and I pray that that will be a blessing for you. This week we're singing some wonderful Lenten hymns, and we're going to start each day by praying a prayer from service and prayer and preaching from your hymnal. Would you join me? This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and repents of evil. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Our scripture today is from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 through 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. Our hymn today is the hymn, The Old Rugged Cross. And The Old Rugged Cross was written by George Bernard in either 1912 or 1913. I couldn't exactly figure out the date. Uh, but George Bernard was born in 1873 in Youngstown, Ohio. He moved to Iowa with his family, but then spent most of his life as a Methodist evangelist in Michigan and Wisconsin. In 1912, he was suffering with some difficult things in his life, and as a result, he kept bringing his mind back to the, the, the image of that rough, Cross, the splintery cross that Jesus died on and Jesus suffered on. There he says that he would imagine the cross as if he were seeing the words of John 3.16 come alive. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. As George Bernard pondered this, he began writing the hymn, The Old Rugged Cross. The song was first shared at a church in Michigan in 1913 and was accompanied by guitar, which is why I have my husband here, Kevin, who's going to play the guitar with the song today. Soon afterwards, that song became one of the most widely published and popular either sacred or secular songs in the country. Would you sing with me? A hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my Cross. 
exchange it someday for a crown. Would you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for loving us so much that you gave your only son to die upon the rugged cross so that we might be forgiven and live with you in heaven someday. Help us to cling to that truth all the days of our lives. In your name we pray, amen. Have a wonderful day.